There's a common misconception that I've seen in churches before that there's an indirect relationship between the level of production in a church and the level of authenticity in that church. Meaning that if a church has a very high level of production, that it's fake. I don't think that's true. I think that can be true in certain situations, but I don't but I don't think it has to be true. And I personally lead worship in a quote mega church and we have a fairly high level of production. For example, we use click tracks for all of our music and our worship. We use uh, moving lights and haze and that kind of thing. Every service element is meticulously planned and there's not much room for spontaneity, that kind of thing. But I do feel like we do a great job at my church of balancing uh, production and authenticity. The thing that we have to think about when it comes to production is it needs to be appropriate to your church, to your church culture, to your church vision, to the, the community in which your church is, to the community of people that you're trying to reach, uh, to the people that are in your church. Every church is different and there's no one size fits all solution when it comes to production. There's no, uh, there's no answer for your church that's gonna work for a whole bunch of churches. You need to find as a church leader uh, you need to decide what is the appropriate level of production for your church. And it has to do with how big your church is, again, the, the community you're trying to reach, uh, the, 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 the level of skill with production and knowledge of the people that are in your church, and just the culture and vision that you have for your church, the level of production that you have needs to feed and fit into that vision. So I would encourage you, when you think about production, think about what is the appropriate level of production for my church. And if you don't know the answer to that question, there are lots of, of organizations and companies that will help you work alongside you, one, to decide how much production and what does it look like that, that's gonna fit my church and my vision, and also how do I implement it and how do I run it on a week to week basis. So if that's a question you have, uh, reach out to these companies, these production companies uh, in your area. They're extremely helpful. Even at my church where, like I said, it's a large church, we work with several production companies that help us determine one, what's appropriate for us and how can we pull off the things that we wanna do. And then they help us understand what kind of equipment and personnel we're gonna need as well. The final thing I want to talk about and the most important thing in my opinion in when it comes to production versus authenticity is how to be authentic regardless of the level of production that you run in your environment. Uh, if you know Worship Tutorials uh, a little bit by now you might know that our vision at Worship Tutorials is authentic and excellent worship in every church in the world and that we are here to help you uh, make that happen in your church. But authenticity is so important and I think it's one of the most important things when it comes to church leadership. We live in a culture in a world where the culture thinks that we as Christians are hypocrites and that we are not authentic. And uh, we've come by some of that honestly because um, you know we fight with each other so much. We argue over things that don't matter. I think sometimes too, we can come off from the stage, from the platform as not being authentic. I'm thinking about times when I haven't planned to be myself. Uh, in a worship service. So what I would encourage you to do, regardless of your environment, as a worship leader or a church leader, especially if you, if you spend any time on the platform in a church, is find uh, the time in your service, however you plan it out, find 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, where you know that you're gonna have an opportunity to be yourself and then be yourself. Be as authentic as you possibly can. Let people in, let people get to know you as a person. So my advice to you and to me, this is what I do personally as well when I'm, when I'm leading worship and, and thinking about the service order and the flow. Find a moment where you can be you and then be yourself. 
and it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, it's kind of a scary thing to do, to let people in. Don't say the same things over and over and over and over again. B between songs, before songs, when you pray. Uh, I've fallen into that rut, and I see a lot of worship leaders do that as well, and that's why I say it's like a robot could have done this thing. Uh, God made you who you are for a reason, and he put you in the position that you're in for a reason, and he wants us to be uh, individuals. He wants us to be authentic from the stage and he wants us to let people in and let people know that uh, you know the people on our stages aren't perfect. Our church leadership isn't perfect. We're all in this together. We're a family of people worshiping God, praising God, trying to reach the lost for Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.